Question number 14. It is given that fx equals to this and then gfx equals to this and x not equals to h. Question A. Set the value of h. So h is, okay, they say x not equals to h, right? So x is what? Well, what is x? x is the, actually the denominator here. Lah, because we know that when it is a fraction, the denominator cannot be 0. Correct? So in other words, the question A, the 2x minus 5 from the fraction down here, 2x minus 5, cannot be equals to 0. Okay? Because if it's equals to 0, it will be, you'll get math error. Okay? Because it's uh, infinite, so you cannot get 0. So from here, we know 2x equals, uh, not equals to 5, and x not equals to 5 over 2. So since x is not equals to h, so we can say that, h is equals to 5 over 2 okay done question b find the value of x when fx maps onto itself when you see fx maps onto itself meaning fx equals to x so what is fx 2x minus 5 equals to x you know, question b so rearrange this i will get 2x minus x so it's just x equals to 5 Question C, they want you to find GX, but you don't have, you only have uh, GFX, okay? So how do you find G, GX from GFX? So how to find is, you want to remove the, the FX, right? So how do you remove? You can remove by substituting an inverse, an inverse F, okay? So because when you substitute inverse, these two will neutralize it becomes x so in the end you have gx okay so your job is to find out what is fx uh, sorry what is f inverse and then you substitute into the gf function okay so we'll do wait, we do step by step find f inverse first so fx equals 2x minus 5 so this question c uh, c1 so make it become equals to y so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change swap between the y and the x. So x becomes here, and the y goes inside. Now I rearrange to make y the subject. So x plus 5 equals 2y, and then y equals x plus 5 over 2. So this y now is no longer equals to fx. The y now is actually f inverse, because I already swapped places. So x plus 5 over 2. Okay, so this is the f inverse. So now we want to substitute this into the gf function. So I get, I can find the gx. So it will be um, 4 over 2x plus 5 over 2 minus 5. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm doing. Huh? What I just did is I took this, the f inverse function, I substitute into the gf function, like what we said just now. Okay, what I did, I showed you all here. Okay, I took the f inverse function, substitute into the gf function, okay, which is this. Clear? So now we just have to calculate this. Lah. So what we will get is, can cancel this. So you get 4 over x plus 5 minus 5, so it's just x. Okay, so gx equals to 4 over x. Wait, let me just rewrite this. 4 over x and then don't forget to write the domain x cannot be equals to zero okay because yes if zero means math error okay the c2 so c2 is asking you to find g 4 n minus 3 x okay this is what the question asking for so this one usually they want us to see a pattern so we know from gx we know gx equals to 4 over x correct so if let's say I look for g square x, so g square x means what? g square x means g g x. So that means you're substituting g x into the g function. So what you will get is um, 4 over 4 over x. Okay. So what what you get is x. Nah? So yeah, what you get is x. So for those who don't know how I got from this to this, 
4 divided by 4 over x is the same as 4 divided by I mean I can write like this so change it to times I get 4 times x over 4 so I can cut so answer is x okay so that's why I got x here so x uh, g square will give you x now we find g3 wait huh? so g3 so g3x will be gx and then you substitute g square x into the gx okay which means this one substitute into the gx here so you get 4 over x again so you do see a pattern here the pattern is when it is power 1 like this one the first one which is uh, that means odd number when the power is odd number you get 4 over x okay when the power is even number even number you get x and then when it's odd again like this one odd you get 4 over x again so that means odd number 4 over x even number is x okay so now we are looking for what we are looking for g power 4 n minus 3 so if i just do g power 4 n verse g power 4 n is even or odd because you're going to multi multiply by 4 right so it's a multiple of 4 so multiple of 4 will always be even number okay this one will always be even so if it's even number it will be x okay but now we are looking for 4 n minus 3 so you're going to minus 3 right so that means if it's even number then three numbers before that will be odd even odd okay I hope you understand. Huh? So if this is an even number, so three numbers before, because you minus three, right? This will be odd, this will be even, this will be odd. So you end up at a odd number. Okay. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Okay. So this will be odd number. Okay. So in other words, this answer should be 4 over x. Huh? x not equals to 0 okay this is your answer